All right, uh, good morning, uh, car haulers. I am very excited today to give you the first sneak peek at our top loader from Lore. Uh, this is a brand new design. Uh, very few people have seen it. And uh, today we are delivering our first ones. So the people familiar with Lore, um, I'm gonna show the differences mainly with the Evo 80, which was the uh, prior model. And then uh, people not familiar with Lore, I uh, invite you to look at the uh, EVO 80 video I posted uh, a year ago. So uh, let's get in. So first we're going to look at the head rack. Um, so they changed the design of the canopy. Um, so uh, the iconic uh, laser cut uh, sheet metal here has been replaced by a little stronger structure. The reason why is we lowered the canopy over the roof. We're trying to get uh, to gain as many inches as we can. Um, and so we changed the whole structure uh, for this 54-inch uh, sleeper. Uh, we uh, removed the sun visors on the trucks because our idea was to move that uh, hinge, that pivot, further back, which will allow us to lower the vehicle on top of the canopy further down uh, without high centering it. And then obviously, a really nice touch, uh, all the safety posts have been uh, wrapped in rubber uh, as well as the cable so anything we can do to save uh, you know to avoid car damage uh, we have lightened up this structure and got a, a really minimalistic uh, design engineering design all those structures have been uh, calculated for tolerances uh, by engineering so we really don't leave any place for chance um, everything has uh, math background in addition to field tasty, testing. Um, we've lowered the valve bank uh, right here to give us better access to the flippers. Very simple, just three levers, uh, make it as simple as possible. And then uh, same with the, the ladders over here, we made the ladders much more uh, we open this whole area up same so you can strap easier um, we still have this uh, nice uh, angled flipper which allows you to uh, get some more uh, height or to lose some height a little faster when you drive a vehicle over there we have moved this ratchet from here to here so it's out of the way of the tire of the vehicles um, and then it also allowed us to have a steeper angle uh, right here and to lower the height of this deck without having that uh, that speed ratchet right into it. The ratchets have been improved. So we went to two um, oval pieces right here. These are full pieces that have been welded together uh, with this, uh, this spacer. And the idea is to give uh, a really nice opening for the straps and to remove any areas where we can cut into the strap. So it's going to add to strap longevity. You can still open uh, the ratchet so you can put some heavy duty grease in there. Uh, same to uh, make it last longer, especially in harsh environments. And then we replace the push pin by a bolt on the other side. If you have a failure of uh, this ratchet, you can order a kit um, which you can keep in the truck with you. So you just replace the parts that need to be replaced and you don't even have to wait for anyone to ship you anything. You can carry it with you at all time and it takes no room. Uh, we're still using our modular pockets on the number two. Uh, the number two is a little longer. Uh, we really designed this for you to put uh, really big vehicles over there. Uh, half tons, three quarter tons. Uh, this, is, this is what you're gonna be loading over here. You even have the option to have a half ton and an Explorer stacked together and be under 14 foot uh, with this new design. We still give you plenty of room uh, for turning radius, uh, easily 75 degree turning radius. And then uh, we reduce uh, this by about a foot compared to the Evo 80. So you can turn much easier without having to worry about clipping the car in front of the trailer. We move the legs on the outside, so it makes it much easier to uh, reach your uh, drop legs. Additional anchor posts right here. 
um, that you could use also if you need to hard tie something. Another change is we went to a steel cylinder in the front as well as the middle. We used to have only one, now we have two steel cylinders. This is to give additional strength because there's such an angle here when we do the jump. And then we also changed the drop pocket style. So we went uh, uh, to flippers to cover uh, the drop pocket here in the belly of the trailer. Uh, it's much easier to use um, than the prior design. Here you see the classic lore design and engineering. So those decks are, are really tall, which gives them a lot of, a lot of strength. And then laser cuts to try to lighten them up where we can uh, save on structure. Maxima lights uh, to give you plenty of light. Yes. And then uh, valve banks. Uh, all those main cylinders have a bypass, so you have 2200 PSI going up and only 300 PSI going down. So that avoids damage for people who forget to unpin the decks. But we're still passing all our hydraulics and electrics outside of the frame, uh, so it makes it easy to change. We have now a little bit more durable non-skid on top of this uh, galvanized uh, step over here. Um, just make it last longer. I really like that little detail. And then we're going to uh, the new truck package. Oh, before that, I'll show you on the other truck. Those flippers over there will automatically adjust as you raise the bottom deck. And then we also put all your hydraulics and pneumaticals into one single assembly. So this assembly here has all your pneumaticals. You can actually remove it. And then uh, your hydraulics running with hard lines. Very easy to access. You got a beautiful view and access also on the inner wheels. Um, so we're making it so easy to service. The truck package uh, is huge now. Uh, and we also changed a few things in terms of uh, the strength of your cross member. Really designed to carry some heavy trucks here. Um, this is going to be working really hard. We've changed this system, instead of having uh, a little, you know, a little pull handle, it's built into the ramp. Still have our tire inflation system. This is our top loader. And then of course we still have our modular drop pockets where we need them. This post over here, when you have Julie's, it's nice to be able to remove the post. They're very easy to remove. It's all galvanized steel, so it should be fairly easy to take out uh, if you need to make the space for the vehicle. They're extending the deck here, just uh, testing it uh, for the jump. And then... I think these are uh, some of the main changes. I'm sure I'm forgetting some. There is so much uh, new stuff to it. We've changed the system here also. So it's uh, spring-loaded, push that pull down here, and then open it, and then lock it back in. Right now I cannot move it because the deck is lowered under the pin. We also went to uh, a different style pin. So we have damages with holes, right? Uh, it's common with uh, most of uh, our competitors as well. So instead of going to round peg holes, we went to square ones underneath it. So we have a, a wider surface, uh, which gives us uh, more strength for vertical push. And then you can also uh, replace or fix those in case they were damaged without any tools. Everything is just spring loaded. The whole idea behind this is reducing maintenance. So the galvanized steel, if you're gonna be slip plating, every six months. Um, you know, that's about 500 bucks just in labor only every six months. Uh, I recommend in the north you slip plane more than that, but if that's all you're gonna do, uh, you can see the savings only with slip plating and the time saved. And now if you add that everything here is modular, it's another uh, tremendous amount of saving uh, in terms of downtime and uh, and, and cost to replace things. So I'm really, really proud of what they're doing here. We have wider drop pockets in the front. That's also 
think we're open all the way to 24 inches now. And everything they do, they do it with uh, maintenance in mind. So how can we make this as simple as possible to repair if it's needed and as low maintenance as possible? And you know, over the year it adds up where you'll be on the road more often than your competitors. All right, I'm checking out. Thank you for your time.